welcome to worship today. I'm sat somewhere a little bit different and today worship is going to be a little bit different. So our theme today, we're thinking about baptism. So as we come to worship, I'm going to place my Bible on the table and we remember God the Father. So we pray, Father, we are here. We are here for you. I've got the cross, which reminds us of Jesus, God's Son. So we pray, Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. And finally, I've got my special candle. And as I light the candle, we pray, Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. So we meet in the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And you remember last time we thought about God being Trinity, three in one. Now today I've got a story for you and then we're going to run over to church and I've got something to show you in church. And then we're going to come back and do our prayers. And Razzy is here, he's very excited very excited about coming to church. Can you get into the shot? There you go. There's his whole face. He's tearing up a cardboard box, so he's being a bit noisy. But let me read you this story. John was shouting. John was shouting in the wilderness. God is sending someone special, he shouted, and you'd better get ready to meet him. Many people listened to John. They thought he was someone special. He lived in the wilderness after all by the River Jordan. He wore a scratchy camel hair coat and he ate locusts for his lunch. I'm not the special one, John shouted. Why, I'm not even special enough to stoop down and undo his sandals. No, I'm just help here to help you get ready to meet him. How do we do that? Someone shouted back. You repent, John shouted, that's how. You stop doing what's bad and you start doing what's good. If you meet a poor man, you don't tell him to go away. You give him food and clothes. If you're a tax collector, you don't take more than you're supposed to. You're honest and you're kind. And if you're a soldier, you don't bully people. You protect them and take care of them. And what about us? shouted some very religious people. You, John shouted ever louder. You need to stop pretending that you're perfect and admit you've done things that make God sad. And I'll say it again, God is sending someone special and you, all of you, need to be ready to meet him. So come, let me dip you in this river to show that God wants your lives to be changed. The people came and John dipped them in the river. Then one day when all the shouting and dipping was done, someone else came to the river too. It was Jesus, 30 years old and all grown up. John recognised him right away and stopped his shouting. You're the special one, aren't you? He whispered and Jesus smiled. That's right, Jesus said, and I want you to dip me into the water too. Oh no, John said, it should be the other way round. Listen, said Jesus, it's time I began the work I was sent to do. This is how my father wants to get started. So John agreed and he and Jesus waded out into the river. Here's a good picture. And Jesus was dipped under the water and John said a prayer over him. And after that, the heavens opened up and a dove came down from heaven and the people heard a voice like the sound of thunder, which said, This is my beloved son, my special one. With him I am very pleased. The voice was the voice of God. So there we go. We can see the picture on this side of all the people in the river as well. So as we're thinking about baptism, let's pop over to church and I'll tell you a bit more. Come on, come with me. So welcome to St Chad's Church. It's nice that you can be in church with me today. The first thing I'm going to do to explain what we do in baptism is I'm going to light this candle here 
And this is our Easter candle. So every Easter we have a new candle that comes into church um, and we light it on Easter Sunday and this candle reminds us of the light of Jesus risen from the dead who shines light into our hearts and into our minds throughout the whole of our lives. So at every baptism we light the Easter candle. So this is one of our symbols. So there are lots of symbols in a baptism service and this is a symbol of light, the light of Christ. We've also got another symbol. We've got the symbol of water. So if you remember in our story, John baptised Jesus into water. He dipped him in the water and out again. So we have a little bowl of water. I don't know if you can see that quite well, clearly. So just ordinary water. And during the service, we bless the water. And then we don't dip a baby or a child or a person into the water. What we do is we pour water onto their heads. So I want you to imagine I've got a little baby here, so I've got the baby in my arm, and then we pour water and we baptise the child in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So we baptise in the name of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And I'm going to show you what we use to put the water on the child's head. So I'm going to come a bit nearer, and you can see this is a silver shell. And so the shell is another symbol we use. And this is a symbol of our pilgrimage, our journey of faith. So the idea is that all these different lines are different lives and our path back to God. So we all have a different life to live, but all the paths, the different lives we have, will take us back to God. So this is a symbol of pilgrimage, a symbol of the journey of our life taking us back to God. So we've got the candle we've got the shell and we've got the water. There's one more thing we use, we've got oil and this is special oil which has been blessed by the Bishop of Litchfield and during the service we anoint the child or the adult, the person being baptised with the sign of the cross. So we put, I put oil on my finger and I make the sign of the cross on their forehead like this. There we go, anoint you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So God who is Trinity. So we anoint the person with oil as a sign that they are chosen and precious and loved as a sign of God's protection on their life. And at the end of the service, everybody uh, who is baptised is given a candle, their own baptism candle. So it's got, I'll come bring this nearer in a minute for you to have a look. And we light the candle from the Easter candle and everybody who is baptised is given their own candle lit from the Easter candle as a sign of God's love always with them. So you can see there are special symbols, the symbol of the cross, the symbol of the dove, the Holy Spirit, the symbol of the water. And then these two symbols, there's an A, and an O. So these are Greek letters, Alpha and Omega. That means the beginning and the end. So that's a symbol of God the Father, who is the beginning and the end of all things. So those are our baptism symbols. And if you'd like to find out a bit more, we are having a special event in church on Sunday the 3rd of July at 4 o'clock. I'll tell you a bit more later um, that you can come along to church and find out a bit more about baptism. I'm going to go back home now. You're going to come with me. Well, that was great. Thank you for coming to church with me. Let's just finish with a very short prayer. So you can look at the light of the candle. You can close your eyes and put your hands together or you can just sit quietly with your thoughts. So let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for baptism as a sign of the new life that we have in you if we follow you. We thank you for the life of John the Baptist we thank you for all the people who have been baptised over many hundreds of years and in whose footsteps we follow on our path of faith. Amen. So we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen i would like to wish you a very happy day today we have got what we're calling a baptism cafe at church on sunday the 3rd of july so that's uh, this coming sunday at four o'clock um, and it's four o'clock until about five o'clock quarter past five so if you would like to come ask your parents to come along and um, bring you along and it'll be lovely to see so we've got one or two games and we've got one or two things we're going to do to explore baptism a little bit more in church so it'll be lovely to see you on sunday at four o'clock and there'll be tea and cake and squash and biscuits that'll be really nice to see you so do come along if you're free so as we go now, we pray for God's blessing. We pray for the blessing of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father, as we go, Holy Spirit, as we go, Jesus, God's Son, as we go, bless us all as we go. Amen. Bye-bye.